We have it totally under control. One person coming in from China. At first glance, uh, this might seem to be an ad made by Democrats to attack Republican President Donald Trump. The Lincoln Project is responsible for the content of this advertising. But the Lincoln Project is a political action committee started by a group of prominent Republicans who are working to defeat one of their own, President Trump. Among them, attorney George Conway, husband of Kellyanne Conway, one of the president's closest advisors. I don't know him. Uh, he's a whack job. There's no question about it. But I really don't know him. He, uh, I think he's doing a tremendous disservice to a wonderful wife. Kellyanne is a wonderful woman. And I call him Mr. Kellyanne. Lincoln Project videos take aim at President Trump's policies, pronouncements, and temperament. They're getting into Donald Trump's head, which I think is a good thing. Jimmy Tosh is the CEO of one of America's top pork producers. The lifelong Republican is donating to the Lincoln Project to defeat President Trump. I probably agree with about 80 percent of what he's doing, but... Uh, from a morality standpoint, I cannot stand a liar. Uh, I can't stand a vindictive individual. The Lincoln Project is completely irrelevant. Chris Wilson is CEO for WPA Intelligence, a Republican polling and data analytics firm. He is concerned the Lincoln Project is slamming not just the president, but also Senate Republicans, whose majority is imperiled. If they're their conscience tells them that they need to oppose Donald Trump, well, so be it. I mean, that's, I can respect that. But the fact, way in which they are now focusing on Senate seats tells me this is not ideological in its nature. It is more about, uh, it's about ego and it's about money. The Lincoln Project raised nearly $20 million by the end of June. Tennessee hog farmer Jimmy Tosh wants to defeat Trump, as well as the president's allies in the Republican Party. Well, I'm a little disappointed in the Republican Party for the amount of enablers that we have in the Republican Party for the Trumpism. Uh, I am not going to support any Republican candidate on the national level for this year. If you're worried about policy at all, I'm much more comfortable with still there being a Republican majority in the Senate. Rob Stutzman is a Republican political consultant in California. He has written that Trump should be defeated and says political action committees like Republican Voters Against Trump focus on just that. They're more or less creating this permission gateway for Republicans to feel okay about not voting for the Republican nominee uh, by just showing normal Republican voters giving their testimonials about how they're not going to vote for Donald Trump again, even though they may have in, in 2016. Hundreds of people who worked for the 43rd U.S. President, Republican George W. Bush, formed a political action committee to back presumptive Democratic Party nominee Joe Biden. The former vice president will get another endorsement when former Ohio governor and Republican presidential candidate John Kasich addresses the Democratic National Convention in August. Steve Reddish, VOA News, Washington.